Morning everybody, this is Greg with Mineral Springs Tilapia. Wanted to show you the hatchery. Um, got most of the tank stands in here and tanks and some fish. And um, This is the center tank stand here. You can look down the line here and you can kind of see uh, there's going to be 10 tanks on the top. There'll be 8 tanks across the bottom. Uh, they're not running yet. Um, but I'm working on them here. Uh, I've got breeder colonies set up. I sexed a bunch of fish the other day. I've got one medium colony here set up. It's These fish are just two and a half to three inches long. Got a little mini colony down here. These guys are very small. This is about the limit of my ability to sex these fish. Uh, two inches. Uh, much smaller than that, I can't get them done. Can't sex them. Got a little bit larger blue colonies, and these three colonies right here are blue. <coughs> um, this colony is a new colony, also just recently sexed and set up. Then, of course, I have my Hornarum Mozambique. These are the orange Mozambiques. This little girl, Blackface here, she had a mouthful of eggs yesterday, but uh, she's very small, and I just didn't expect her to hold them. And she didn't. Um, you know, they need to get a little bit bigger, but they are they are breeding with this with this male horn arm right here. So, uh, and that's the extra horn arm that's in this tank. He's uh, he's going to go in with some miles down in this bottom 55. Uh, let's see what I got over here. That's an empty tank. This one I've got a couple of male blues that uh, are ready to be put with colonies. I'm just holding them out for the next colonies that I sex. Got a tank with a whole bunch of uh, blue today. I've got about 1,200, 1,500 over at the other, my buddy's house. Um, I'm going to start getting those fish over here today. Again, all this side is all blues. This side over here will be all Niles. These are Niles. These are some Nile fingerlings, some small fingerlings. These are the Niles that I'm getting ready to sex and set up colonies with. I've got a couple of those sold, so I've got to get those sexed and out. Uh, another empty tank. Of course, on the bottom, I've got a lot of empty tanks. I did build a uh, counter along the back wall. Um, I put a thermometer up here on the wall next to the exhaust fan. Got a utility sink installed. Don't have the plumbing done yet. Got to get that done. Um, I got I keep a cart down here <clears throat> so I can move it around as I'm <clears throat> cleaning tanks and siphoning water. You know, just a lot of a lot of things you have to do in here, and I got a lot of different stuff on, on this cart, so, um, you know, I'm working on all this, trying to get it organized, I'm still moving stuff from the little metal, metal building, which is a pain, I have to clean it up before I bring it in here, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm it's starting to shape up as a hatchery now, I've got breeder colonies in here, although I don't have any holding at the moment. I expect some action here in the next week or so. Got plenty of storage over here. This is all my extra sponge filters and all the different things I'm going to be setting up. Um, and we will we will get all that done. <coughs> so got a tank down here I can use. I've got like I said I've got a lot of twenties that aren't in here yet. Um, what I did on the top row here, I put two 20s, a 29, and then two more 20s. Um, these are going to be tanks. The 29s are going to be the tanks where I'm holding fish to sex and to set up breeder colonies with. Uh, all these tanks over here, of course, are 55s, except the one down here in the middle. Again, those are going to be for juveniles. This is a 29 down here. 
But anyway, I just wanted to let you know, show you what I had going on in here, and, and we're getting it, we're getting it done. I will talk to you later. Subscribe to my channel, and we'll keep you updated on what's going on with all these fish. Thanks for watching. Bye.